Do you believe in the theory of evolution? Well, Diecast Masters do because they've brought out the new Evolution series. And this set shows the progression of the Caterpillar 966 from version A to version M. The first thing to say is the packaging is of very high quality and it's in a very nice presentation style. The box is really nice and it has reprints of the marketing brochures for the 966A and 966M in the lid. And there's also various other photos around the bottom part of the box. Here we're carefully lifting out the two models and they're fixed to a base plate. And there's one other piece of packaging to remove from under the shovels. Once the models are out of the box there's only one tiny piece of assembly to do. And that's to fit an umbrella to protect the operator from the lights in the display case. Included with the set is a 44 page ring bound book and it sets a new standard for information with a diecast model. It is created from the Caterpillar archives and it tracks the development of the 966 from the original 966A track excavator through all of the various versions up to the 966M. For each of the versions there are photos and technical details and there's also some narrative which describes the innovations in that version. The book is interesting and it covers the period from the first introduction of the 966A in 1960. So the evolution of the machine over almost a 60 year period is covered. The two models are mounted on a nice quality plastic stand and inset into the stand are a couple of badges. Let's look at the two models. The A version is a reworking of the previous Norscott model and this one has much better looking tyres and wheels. The detailing is very good with nice steps and textured surfaces. And in true Diecast Master style there is an operator and he's dressed in appropriate clothing for the period. There are nice sharp and legible graphics and the rivets on the loader arm are all painted so they don't stand out too much. The bucket is a modified version from the previous model and it has teeth. At the back the radiator grill is nicely modelled. But the mounting piece is quite visible and would have been better if it had been black. Moving on to the M version and it's also got very convincing tyres. Looking at the back the side grills are formed of graphics. And the rear radiator grille is nicely modelled. The handrails are made of metal. With the mirrors modelled in plastic. There's the usual detailed cab and it has an operator inside. It's nice to see some hydraulic hoses. The light stalks are plastic and the rivets are painted. There are some detailed graphics at the pivot point, but again the stand probably would have been better in black. At the front the bucket is a reasonable casting and it has teeth. The normal display pose is mounted on the plinth, but if you want you can remove the models. And to do that you need a fairly hefty screwdriver because the screws are done up very tightly. There are a couple for each model and when they're undone you can separate the models off the plinth. Here you can see they're still on their mounting stands but they just pull off. And then effectively the models are set free so they can run and shovel as they like. Let's start with the old timer 966A and it's able to run around nice and smoothly. The machine's a little bit unusual by today's standards because it has rear wheel steering. And although the steering angle is not huge, it's enough to be interesting. Of course loaders like to shovel, so let's see how this one does. And it raises to a decent height and the tipping angle is good. Now that the bucket has emptied all its air we can go back down again. And it resumes its normal pose. The 966M also rolls very smoothly. And it steers in the conventional way with steering across the pivot point by hydraulic rams. But the model achieves a much smaller angle than the real machine does. In terms of the tipping height it's moderate. And the tipping angle is a little bit restricted. So in terms of functionality the loader mechanism is not the best.
This style of model set is something new from Diecast Masters. And in terms of its presentation, it's top quality. And it's particularly nice to have a book full of information about the real machines. The models have details and functionality which is mostly very good. But overall the set with its presentation is rated as excellent. Thank you.